Hey guys, Don here with the TroTech Academy. Thank you for tuning into this video from our demonstration menu. For this project, we're gonna be making a name plaque using our Trolace Thins. To complete this application, we first engrave our lettering and logo and proceed to cut a rectangle around our job. This is a very basic project and forms one of the most commonly used by general engravers and sign makers. Trolace Thins are thinner and more flexible than traditional engraving materials. As a result, they are particularly suited to applications on curved surfaces. The thin surface coating allows detailed engraving at high production speeds. The acrylic based material is available in matte colors as well as shiny and brushed metal finishes. It is ideal for applications like interior signage, badges, trophy plates, bottle labels and business cards. This material is a microsurfaced two ply plastic with or without adhesive. It comes in a matte non-glare finish as well as a gloss or brushed metal finish and has a thickness of 0.02 inches. It comes in sheets of 48 inches by 24 inches and can also be purchased in a half sheet or quarter sheet. For this application, we've used a 12 inch by 24 inch quarter sheet at a cost of $16.79. We've broken our job down into two separate segments, one which accounts for a single plaque and one which uses the entire quarter sheet, accounting for 24 plaques. The statistic most important to keep your eye on is the engraving cut time. For a single plaque, it's a total of 2 minutes and 19 seconds. However, for the entire quarter sheet, it's a total of 27 minutes and 55 seconds, but only a minute 9 for each plaque. This is due to less resistance on the laser head when moving further along the x-axis. By filling the entire bed, we're able to engrave more quickly. Now let's look at our general ROI breakdown. Keep in mind that these numbers are very general and may differ based on your local factors. First, let's look at our individual plaque. To calculate our revenue, we start with a setup fee of $25, which accounts for time and labor, as well as a retail price of $5.16. This leaves us with a total revenue for one unit of $30.16. Now to calculate cost, we have the price of our quarter sheet, which is $16.79, divided by 24, leaving us with a total of 70 cents. We also have a setup time of two minutes, supposing we are paying our employee $15 an hour, for a total of 50 cents. Finally, we have our engraving cut time of 2 minutes and 19 seconds. Supposing we are charging $100 an hour, that's based on standard and opportunity costs, things like electricity and the time that you could be using for other things, for a total of $3.86. This leaves us with a total cost of $5.06. Subtracting our total cost of $5.06 from our total revenue of $30.16, we end up with a gross profit of $25.10. Now, let's look at our quarter sheet. To calculate revenue, we begin with the same setup fee of $25, which accounts for time and labor, as well as a retail price of $99.07, which accounts for a 20% quantity break due to a bulk order. This leaves us with a total revenue for 24 units of $124.07. To calculate our cost, we have the price of our quarter sheet of $16.79, as well as a setup time of 2 minutes, supposing we are paying our employee $15 an hour for a total of $0.50. Cents. We also have our engraving cut time of 27 minutes and 55 seconds. Supposing we are charging $100 an hour, that leaves us with a total of $46.52, leaving us with a total cost of $63.81. Finally, we can subtract our total cost of $63.81 from our total revenue of $124.07, leaving us with a gross profit of $60.26. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We'd be very happy to hear from you.